So I talked about the Oaks and Prairies a little bit earlier. Uh, this is uh, the program that we've been working on. Uh, I like to say it was a $1 million experiment to see what we could do if we uh, made an all-out effort to put conservation on the ground for grasslands. What we did was uh, uh, put together a Grassland Restoration Incentive Program, or GRIP, which is our acronym and our tagline, Get a Grip on Grassland Conservation. It's built to, uh, to meet the needs of grassland species, not just grassland birds, not just quail, but monarchs and, and uh, other species that are uh, in need of grasslands. We have 40 eligible counties, and those were selected based on priority birds about almost 10 years ago before we even knew that we were gonna have this program. Uh, the landowner works with the partner biologist just like all these other programs. It's nice they went before me. They explained exactly the same process. We tried to build exactly the same kind of program that they have, and we pay incentive payments for certain practices out of the, the equip menu of, of practices that you could do, and, and uh, the practices we selected out there are prescribed fire, prescribed grazing, native grassland planting, and brush clearing. And uh, we branded this separately from the Oaks and Prairies so that it can be used outside of our joint venture area, but our staff focuses in the, uh, the geography that we work in with just a little bit going into the, the Gulf Coast joint venture. Uh, there's a, south of us, there's the Rio Grande joint venture who's gonna be doing some, some of the same kind of uh, incentive program that's coming. And if we get the contract signed in the next month or so, we were just awarded a, 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 a regional conservation partnership program uh, award with NRCS to, um, to expand this out a little bit more, um, matching $2.9 million over five years with $3.2 million of partner fund and in kind to hire, uh, we're gonna be hiring six people in four different organizations to help put this on the ground because we work at the speed of trust, so we need a lot of boots on the ground to sell this program as well as the incentive parts of the program. What you need to do is contact your uh, local any one of the partners that we work with or any organization in here could be a partner biologist that works with a landowner and that's how they get their, their application in to, to uh, this program. It's a, uh, we did have it open for uh, rolling um, applications and the money went out as quickly as we could bring it in. So it's been very successful, surprisingly successful. When we first got our first grant of $80,000, we thought we wouldn't be able to do that in, in two years, and, and it went in within six months. So uh, we're really happy with the program, and, and we're trying to fill the gaps from some of these federal programs that we don't have a, a, an income cap. We, uh, for landowners who don't want to sign a contract with a, with a uh, state or federal agency, they can sign a contract with a, uh, a, an NGO. We have uh, several different NGOs that are, are the actual holders of the contract, the American Bird Conservancy, the National Wild Turkey Federation, and uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife Foundation has been, has been helping us with uh, the most recent grants. So uh, that's the program. And, we're gonna have a lot more information as soon as we can roll it out in the next couple of months if everything goes to plan.